वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन इंडिया विथ ए क्वाजी फेडरल सिस्टम इन प्लेस वी हैव कॉन्स्टेंट टासल्स ऑफ सेंटर एंड स्टेट विथ द काइंड ऑफ जुरिस्ट्रिक्शन विच इज ओवरलैपिंग इन सेवेंथ शेड्यूल फॉर विच द सोल्यूशन वुड बी द बेटर फंक्शनिंग ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ इंटेग्रिटी when you say institutions of integrity they are actually meant to ensure accountability of other institutions or other wings of government for example we have cag cvc cbi and other institutions which need autonomy to function so these institutions these institutions requires an autonomy so among which today without wasting time let's jump it to the part of central bureau of investigation cbi and let's discuss about its ambit and jurisdiction to understand specifically about cbi's jurisdiction we need to understand how the genesis of cbi was initially during world war 2 a department by name war supplies was created this war supplies department was created in 1941 and by the time 1946 has arrived they found lot of discrepancies the way officers were diverting resources and these resources in 1946 were to be investigated where they established a special police wing and to establish this they made sure delhi special police act is enacted so long story short delhi special police act which was enacted during colonial era makes this body an archaic and colonial one as well later on the one which was considered as special police has been renamed and reconstituted in 1963 by name central bureau of investigation so this wing is what we are looking at today to understand its ambit and jurisdiction we need to understand that police along with law and order police and law and order being in state subject of seventh schedule so this makes the contentious issue that why is central government holding police is it an overreach of jurisdiction is a question so to maintain and specialized conditions the home ministry maintains police in union territories and today the three union territories which have a legislative body or a representation but still are under cbi's jurisdiction are one is delhi other one is puducherry third one is the third one is jammu and kashmir of course other uts as well without legislature that means the one which are related to 239 are these and other one is without legislature however they would find the dependence on center so there is no tussle between center and state now there is another space where cbi can enter and that space is when general consent is given so now the bone of contention today it's in news because west bengal as part of article 131 filed a petition 
to ensure CBI doesn't enter into their state without their general consent. So, again, to summarize the long story, West Bengal felt despite withdrawal of general consent, the Delhi police, which are nothing but CBI, is entering their jurisdiction. Can they come into their jurisdiction, prosecute or investigate is the question. So, CBI can't arrest without help of or at least consent of local bodies or local governments. So, this is the reason. So, with Article 131, Supreme Court said, you can't claim special conditions every time without substantial proof. So, it states conceding their rights if needed or seeking help from center to investigate is what general consent is and this general consent only if granted CBI can enter the jurisdiction is what Supreme Court opined about. So other miscellaneous provisions if you look at what CBI could do, CBI provides staff and other assistance maybe technical to some of those vigilance organizations which doesn't have its own staff, maybe someone like enforcement directorate or some other staff. Because end of the day, they are investigating frauds, investigating similar kind of jurisdiction. So there is give and take between the institutions. If you're clear with this, I think the kind of tussle that exists with state and center in center state relationships when it comes to CBI might be clear. If it's clear, then before leaving this video, I would just pose a question. Comment whether CBI is a statutory body or constitutional body, neither or both. With much more informative content, I'll be back before you. Till then, thank you.